Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. Um, so last time out we started off uh, with the um, first floor of uh, Sai's Palace. Uh, and we dealt with the... Um, what was it first? We dealt with the, um, uh, the dice machines. Um, and we're trying to uh, earn 50,000 coins in order for us to be able to enter the... Um, sorry, fuck. <laughs> in order for us to get to the next floor of the palace. Um, and so in this part we're moving on to deal with the slot machines. Um, but first off, battle time. Um, so life draining spirit. These guys are actually, I can't remember their weakness. <laughs> Uh, correction, they're weak to nuclear. There you go. Um, <laughs> but these things are actually, um, when you first meet them in this uh, palace, they're actually pretty difficult um, because they hit quite hard. <laughs> they have a lot of uh, attacks which can cause uh, a fair bit of damage, so they're kind of tricky um, to deal with. Um, so, yeah, but due to me having a... Due to me being, um, you know, uh, I think I'm at least a level or two above where I'm, where I need to be. Um, uh, because of that, we're actually in a fairly decent position to wreck these guys pretty comfortably. So yeah, now we're heading into the slot room. So we have to deal with the slots. Basically, um, this one it's less of trying to work out what you meant. To with this, with the previous one, it was like you could try and earn some money, uh, like a little bit of money uh, by playing the games. Here you can't play any of the slots. There's one giant slot machine which you have to kind of mess with to kind of get it to function as it should. Oh fuck, I got smashed and hit in the face. That's rude. Anyway, <laughs> done with that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of doing this uh, the wrong way. <laughs> Basically, I'm exploring everywhere first. Um, when really the better thing to do is just head straight for the giant slot machine. Okay, new enemy. The Lamenting Sacrifice. Um, I think they're weak to... Nuclear. As I was going to say. <laughs> um, they aren't really that much of a problem. I think they um, mostly use wind attacks, so they're not too difficult. Uh, so you can take them out fairly easily. Okay. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, basically, we're, I'm doing this kind of the wrong way. Uh, the best way to do it is to... Um, instead of exploring first, is heading to the... Straight to the um, uh, giant uh, what's the word we're looking for here? Uh, yeah, is to head to the giant slot machine first and then explore afterwards. Um, but at least here we find out, yeah, they are rigging the machines, so it's kind of pointless. It's pretty much telling you that um, they're rigging the machines, it's kind of pointless for you to continue, <laughs> so don't bother. Yeah, so not going down there yet. I'm gonna go this way first. See what I can find. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, see, because there are these panels, and that is these panels are gonna be related to the giant, um, the giant slot machine. Basically, you have to find. Basically, you're told three separate colors of um, panel. Um, uh, and once you found the three coloured panels that you that it asks for, you activate each one, and then uh, that uh, enables you to hack into the giant um, slot machine, and that allows you to basically get all the coins that you need, pretty much. But yeah, pretty much I've screwed up. <laughs> yeah, so that's locked up. So we need to go up and around. So let's get going. 
Wow, I'm moving really fucking slowly here. There you go. Kill him. <laughs> oh, we got another new enemy. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so we got Valkyrie to deal with. Um, don't have any weaknesses, so they're kind of annoying. Um, <clears throat> my apologies. But something else I will say about them as well is that... Um, because uh, even though because Valkyries are quite weak, uh, basically the only thing that Valkyries have going for them is that they're kind of um, um, the only thing that they really have going for them is they're kind of um, tough. Uh, you know, diff what am I doing? There we go. <laughs> Like the, um, it's hard to cause them damage, uh, and at the same time, so they're quite hardy. But at the same time, they cause they cause like pretty good physical damage. Um, but you know, as long as you hit them with your most powerful moves, then you're not really and you're not really gonna have many many issues with them. Spirit Drain, that drains SP from one foe. It is um, pretty useful, so I'll get rid of that. Um, Spirit Drain is pretty useful, okay. but um, I never really bother to use it. I'd rather just deal damage as opposed to draining um, SP or, you know, putting uh, status effects on enemies. That's just usually how I am with them. Um, RPGs and JRPGs, unless it's kind of like required in order to cause a decent amount of damage. So yeah, now we're heading into the the rear of the slot room, and there's the giant slot machine, and that's kind of our main uh, focus for this point, for this part of the game. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm, okay, I think I was just avoiding, trying to avoid the enemy. Oh, we got new enemies. Um, Queen Mako. They're weak to. I couldn't see what it said. I think they're weak to um, ice. I'm pretty sure. We'll soon find out. No, not ice. What was it? Okay, they're weak to wind. Fuck. I'm an idiot. There you go. That was me being uh, a bit of a dumbass. Not being able to read. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. So yeah. They um, they don't really cause that much damage. They're, you know, at least no more than any other enemy does in this part of the game. Um, so it's just like, hit them with a weakness and they'll go down pretty easily. Right then. So yeah, here's the giant slot machine. Um, so if you win, you get 50,000 coins, which is um, all the coins we're going to need. Do you have so, a but the thing's probably rigged, <laughs> as with everything else in this fucking palace. So yeah, we've got to find a way to stop it. <coughs> my apologies. Fuck my throat. Anyway. Yeah, so... First of all, we've got to find the terminal around the back of the uh, machine. Um, which takes me a little bit. <laughs> I actually get kind of... I don't get lost, but I just am trying to work out... Okay, where the fuck is this thing? Do I cut? Surely I cut. Pretty soon. Ow, you punched me in the face. Oh, I get the chest first, and then I think I cut. Yeah, here we go. Jump. No. I can feel it. For fuck's sake, climb up. There you go, you piece of garbage. There we go. Gilly vest. Pretty good um, uh, armor for this point in the game, but I have no need for it. So no. Yeah, here we go. Let's climb up here, and we've got ourselves our terminal. Um, so yeah, Futaba will tell you. Basically, there are three terminals that we need. Um, 
um, because they're cheating. So what we need to find the three terminals and get her to kind of mess with them. So three colored panels. Okay, two. Uh, you need the red one and you need the green one. And I believe this is a. Uh, I believe this part of the game is random, so it c y you um, it can be any two of the multiple colors which are in this um, in this palace. Yeah, this is me running away. <laughs> And luckily for me, the red panel is right at the be beginning of the of the uh, of the palace. So we just need to go in here and switch off the red panel. So now we just need to find the green one. And luckily, no enemies are around. Do I cut? Yeah, I do. There we go. And uh, funnily enough, the green panel is. Um, the area which we didn't explore earlier. <laughs> so we go down here, and there's the green panel. But first, chest. <laughs> uh, smoked. Yeah, that's just something to clean up, I think. The armor that you clean up is never really all that useful, so I never use it. How about this? What now? Okay, so yeah. Akechi has the idea, basically, he wants uh, to wants uh, Futaba to uh, mess with the other panels so that it mess with the panel so that you, c you can uh, have a much easier chance of winning all the other slot machines as well hey. um, so yeah there you go but now we've got an 8 and 2 chance of winning with the giant slot machine which means our chances of winning are vastly improved from what they were before so we're gonna head straight there yeah I do like that in Persona 5, how they give you the option. You can either... This is more... I think I was waiting here at this point because I was like, I don't want to fight fucking enemies. Damn it! Fuck you! <laughs> Alright, they're dead. Fuck it. Uh, that's something I like about Persona 5, like I was saying. Uh, basically that you can have the option to continue um, exploring the palace if you want to, but if you've got the deed done that you need doing, you can just head straight to the area to continue the story, which I really like. It's really useful. 7-7. Seven, seven. Cherry! No, it's a 7. Thank God. <laughs> and we got 50,000 coins, which means we have more than enough now. How much just carry all this shit? <laughs> we now have more than enough coins. Uh, we now have more than enough coins to um, get the card that enables us to go to the next floor. And we don't have to pick up those all those uh, yes. coins because uh, they automatically get the amount for those coins gets added to our cards anyway. So, no problem. And there you go. There again, you can explore this palace a bit more, this section of the palace a bit more, or you can just head straight to uh, the desk to continue the story, which I really fucking like. Hmm, Soma B chain? I need those. Uh, wait, no. Let's get the high limit card. Right, so now it's time. Now we can head to the elevator and move on to the next floor. And of course, there's an enemy waiting for us. Because size a bitch. Uh, <laughs> so it's time to take time for uh, another boss fight. This is the. This is a mini boss fight. It appears both the Saison of the real world and that of this world are at their wit's end. I think our guests will be leaving now. Oh, for God's sake. She doesn't like playing fair, this one. Alright, time for our fight. This is our first uh, mini boss fight. I think. This is the only one, I think. Yeah, this is the only mini boss, I think, in the whole game. In, sorry, in the whole game. In the whole palace. Like most of the time, we have two boss fights. Fuck you. Like, there's usually two mini bosses per palace, but in the size palace, they actually don't have enough. Don't have as much. Now, this uh, boss is actually pretty tough. It doesn't. It has a lot of uh, elemental resistances. Um, 
it also uh, knows a lot of elemental attacks too. Um, uh, it also knows abilities which increase its defense as well as its evasion and uh, hit rate. It's really fucking. It's it's a pretty tough um, enemy. Uh, I believe it's um, Norn. I believe is what it's called. The thing that you know it turns into, the uh, persona that it turns into, um, and I actually um, uh, used this one fairly late game on my first playthrough. It's actually a really, really, really um, strong persona because it knows a fuck ton of elemental attacks. It has a lot of resistances, and it knows Diaran, which means it fully heals itself like a piece of shit. So. Yeah, basically what you want to do, um, which I'm only just getting the idea now, uh, you want to reduce its, get rid of its stat increases, so get its defense down, and then just hit it with the most powerful attacks that you've got, and just, that's really all you can really do in this uh, fight, is just hit it with everything that you have and just hope that it doesn't increase its defense. And that's what I'm doing here again. Uh, use Kaja Clear to get rid of its defense bo boost. And then just hit it as hard as I can. And cause as much damage as humanly possible. Something else which is kind of nice that I kind of which I've only just noticed is the more damage it takes, like the more cracked its um, clock face is. That's kind of cool. <laughs> but anyway. He's defeated. He's not, like I say, he's not ridiculously hard, um, but um, it's just uh, he has a lot of uh, attacks and a lot of um, resistances, which make him uh, a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, in terms of what level you pretty much have to be in order to fight Sai comfortably is minimum level 50. If you're level 50, then you're likely to win pretty comfortably. Um, so, yeah. I'm already there, so it's not too bad. It's not going to be... So the fight against Sai is not going to be um, too difficult. She thinks the trials which shape the outcomes of people's lives are nothing more than gambles. I wish I didn't have to hear that from Sai Sun herself. Sis is completely distorted. Yeah, she's completely lost. Completely lost it. We all feel the same way. There's no time to waste. She mentioned something about a manager. So yeah. Right? So now we've let's got one more floor there. to go to, which is the we'll manager's floor. So let's head up there sure. and try and. So let's head up, head up there and uh, head on to the next part of the um, palace. I've said it before, but I absolutely love this, um, uh, the track for this palace. It's just so fucking catchy. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, so the next floor is the high limit floor, so that's where we're going next. Um, and this is where we encounter our next big issue. So yeah, the high limit floor is um, limit floor. cut off. Um, basically, Sai. Uh, it's way. basically because Sai, in her head, we doesn't um, believe that we have the right to enter this area, and so we need to change her cognition. <sighs> so, in order for us to do that, we're gonna have to leave the um, we're gonna have to leave the palace at this point. Um, and we're going to have to go to I one of Sai's uh, trials because she's got a trial uh, going on um, tomorrow, which is um, the prosecutor for, I believe. Um, and so what we've got to do is basically go to the viewing gallery in the in the courthouse um, and ho and make sure and hope that she sees us because if she sees us, then she'll finally, you know, acknowledge us as being really able to nice, enter this floor and we'll be able to go on and. Uh, so conclude the final well, section of this palace. Too, right? uh, no way in hell. 
Do I pick that? <laughs> Please, uh, yeah, I pick that. Ages to get it, Ryuji. I just got a different set of time. That's all. That aside, how are we going to get into the? It's fine, Ryuji. Just you know, chill out. It's not a dick measuring contest. <laughs> I love we that from <laughs> Futaba. Ryuji, do your job and get arrested, bitch. <laughs> Isn't it nice that we have Akechi, who's a, you know, a, a, a detective, and the police uh, is uh, a part of the uh, police world. So, yeah. He will tell us where we need to go and which courtroom she's going to be in. But, yeah. That's going to be it. We can't really do anything else, so we've got to head back. So at this point now, you could, if you wanted to, head back down to the previous floors and find any chests and stuff that you haven't um, recovered. You know, do more exploring if you so wish. But at this point, it's rather pointless, I guess. Um, we might as well just uh, so just exit, and then you'll uh, and then we go just got to wait to hear from Akechi about where this. Um, uh, trial is that um, Sai is a part of and once we know that we can continue on with the next part of the palace so join me next time for the next part of Persona 5 when we're going to be um, attending the trial to try and get to try and change, change Sai's cognition fucking hell uh, in order for us to continue on with Sai's palace so join me next time for the next part of Persona 5 <sighs> see you next time